Fiona Bigwood joins me after her test on Atterogard's Orthelia. Just over 74%. Yeah. Are you pleased? Oh, delighted. Um, Windsor isn't the easiest show for, it's her third international and I was a little bit, first day we met the pony club, the carriage horses, and she was a little bit stressed yesterday. So I'm so pleased that she's gone in that arena and done her job. So The piano looked fantastic. You had yeah. one mistake in the two time changes. And the walk, extended walk, she jogged in, but she never does. Silly mistakes, she never makes mistakes in the changes or the walk, but that's the young Grand Prix horse for you. So. And there were lots of hugs after your test. Yeah. Tell us why that was emotional for you. Because. I think for a horse who was so worried yesterday about life to come in and do that, I was just so pleased, you know, and to have a horse like that come into your life because it's just, I just love it to bits. So. Um, and you were riding with the eye patch, which you're now holding in your hand. I have hand. my eye patch, yeah. Now, that's from your accident you had it. I had an accident last year um, and it's damaged the muscle, the nerve to the muscle in my right eye. So um, I have quite bad double vision. Mm -hmm. So if I look ahead, I'm fine. But as soon as I look down, I can't see. I can see two of everything in quite a distance. So I can't judge the boards where the horse's neck, all those sort of things, I can't see. So I ride all my horses with a patch. Usually I do glasses, which is a bit more subtle, but with the rain, I thought I'll go for the patch today. And is that at home in training as well? Yeah, all yeah. the time. Oh, yeah. I'm here with Alice Oppenheimer after her almost 70% Grand Prix <laughs> test on Head Ward Delegate. Yeah. Um, Didn't quite hit the mark, but no. pretty good test. No, I was I was pleased with him, um, but that's you know that's stressful, doesn't it? I've had quite a few people come up and say it should have been a 70. Um, I mean the standards mega high, you know we've got Carl here, we've got Fiona here, and all that, and it's a you know it's it's a spooky arena for them, and I wasn't really expecting as I kind of down the centre line to be blinded by the floodlights and there's all that sort of stuff to cope with. And just remind us how old you are. 25. And this is a homebred horse that you've started yes. from, the, right, from yeah. the beginning? Yeah. Right, and therefore you don't really have the right to be irritated with only 69. <laughs> it's a brilliant 69.86, it's like so nearly 70. And yesterday, obviously a fantastic result, yeah. winning the advanced medium yeah. with Antonio Sir Socrates, amazingly well sat in the prize given. <laughs> we you. saw what he did, but the test was obviously really strong. Do you know what, he was amazing in the test, and he got in there and I wasn't sure how he'd react, you know, they never, they never see horses in carriages and you know, all these show horses flying around, mounted games, ponies, there's all that, they've, King's Troop are practicing, there's all that they've got to contend with, and they just don't see it as dressage horses, and it's a big arena, there was, it was packed crowd yesterday, it was full, yeah. um, and people that had gone in before me were saying it was really buzzy in there, and I wasn't sure how he would react in an atmosphere like that. I'm here with Lara Griffith after her test on Ruben Al Assad. Almost 70%, you've come from beautiful sunny Florida to miserable <laughs> yeah. Windsor. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a shock. <laughs> uh, Rufus doesn't like the rain, <laughs> he likes the sunshine. Well, you say he's nervous and tense, he certainly didn't look it out there. Oh, that was good riding then. <laughs> no, he was, uh, some bits were awesome and they were far better than they were out in Florida, but other bits he just, just held back a little bit. He's still not quite comfortable out there with me yet. Um, mm. But he's, even though he's only, he's 13, he's still very green to the level. Yeah, so. You'll ride the freestyle tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, that was the easy one, the Grand Prix. Yeah. <laughs> the freestyle might be slightly more challenging, but um, we'll see what he does. It's first first freestyle he'll have done, so do we just take every test with, you know, see how he comes out? And every test he does, he's got more positive points, um, so that's all I can ask of him, really. <laughs> Great. Well, good luck for tomorrow. Thanks Thank very you. Much. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.